Alexis aka The Sloth Reader and I'm here today to talk about the top of books to read off of my Kindle. Um, so this is just another one in the TBR book series I've been doing throughout this year where I talk about the top books in a genre. Um, this is the one I purely thought about a lot of books I have on my Kindle that I forget a lot <laughs> when I'm talking about TBRs and stuff like that. Um, a few of these books I do know I have mentioned in other TBR books videos I've done. I'll link the playlist down below in case you're interested more. Um, but in those videos I very specifically tried to pull books from my Kindle like library. Um, but these are all ones that I own purely on my Kindle. I don't own physical copies of these. And these are just the 10 books on my Kindle I'm most excited to get to. So. Let's get into it. The first one I'm going to mention is Air Awakens by Elise Koba. Um, and this is part of a five book series, I want to say, that's like an epic series about uh, people who control different elements. And I believe our main character is trying to reclaim her throne um, after it was taken away from her in some sort of situation. This is a series that I don't hear a lot about on booktube, but a lot of the people I follow on bookstagram um, have loved this series, have raved about this series. Like, I've seen so many people on Bookstagram give this series five stars. And to be fair, I'm all here for elemental magic. For anything that gives me those sweet Avatar The Last Airbender vibes, I'm down for. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've always been interested in the series, and I have the first one on my Kindle, and I've always wanted to start them, but I just never have. Um, but this is definitely a series, now that there are all five books are out, that I'm really interested in. The next series I'm going to mention is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Again, I own the first book on my Kindle. Um, I have not read a single book in this series, which is crazy because I know this series is very well beloved on BookNet. Um, and people, like, go nuts for the series. I've heard this pitched a lot as the YA Game of Thrones, and I've heard complaints about that comparison. Here are there are some people saying, you know, it's not as good as Game of Thrones. Some people are saying it's too similar to Game of Thrones. Um, either way, I am very much interested in checking it out because I really, really like um, multi-point-of-view fantasies, um, which I know that this is what this series is. So I am very, very intrigued to start this series, um, especially now I think that all of the books are coming out or the last book is coming out very soon. I'm not quite sure, but I know the series is about to conclude and I'm very, very interested to check it out. The next one I'm going to mention is The Lies of Black Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is the first book in the Gentleman Bastards series, and this is basically like a heist story about these people, this group of ragtag individuals um, who come together to commit a heist. It's frequently pitched as the adult version of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, which I haven't read either. But Sam over Thoughts and Tones absolutely raves about this series. And they're just chunky books about groups of characters who shouldn't fit together, but they somehow do, and they commit a heist. And I've just heard really incredible things about it. And I definitely um, have my eye on more adult fantasy, and this is definitely one of the ones I really want to jump headfirst into. The next one I'm going to mention is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I know I've talked about this one definitely before on my channel. Um, I really want to read this one. This is about... Um, a spaceship full of really diverse characters, um, also of various alien races, who create black holes, or they create wormholes, I don't know, something like that. I've heard people say it's absolutely magical, and it's just about a crew of people in space doing their job, and I've just heard incredible things from the people who've read it. Chelsea at Chelsea Dolan Reads is rated really high, Sam at Thoughts and Tomes is rated it really high, so it just sounds like something I absolutely will enjoy when I finally get around to it, and it's definitely one of the top books on my Kindle. The next one I'm going to mention is The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Um, this is a classic, one of the classics I'm more interested in. Um, I know CC over Problems of a Book Nerd raves really well about this book. I just know that this is a really iconic book and it's one I definitely feel like I should have read by now, especially because of its importance in terms of subject matter. And yeah, I just feel like this is something I should have already read. Um, and so I definitely want to pick it up soon-ish um, to, to kind of see what this story is about and how it's touched so many people. The next one I'm going to mention is Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson. This is a YA Western story centered around the gold rush and our main character who actually can sense gold um, and about the trouble she kind of has to avoid and the trouble she gets into with that ability. Um, I've heard really, really good things about this as well. You guys know I love uh, Aaron Bowman's Western series, Vengeance Road, Retribution Rails, um, and I absolutely adore Westerns. Uh, I grew up watching Westerns with my grandpa. 
Um, and so this is a, a YA Western series I'm very interested in checking out. Um, I think I bought it right around the time I read Vengeance Road and intended to read it then. Um, and I have not done that, but I definitely want to read this book, um, especially because I believe, again, the last book in the series just came out, so no time like now. The next one I'm going to mention is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I have not read a Robin Hobb book. I really want to get into her writing and I know people say to start with this trilogy because like you have to read her books in a certain order um, and so this is the book that everyone suggests you start with um, and so that being the reason obviously I'm very excited to read this um, and I've especially just I know how well beloved Robin Hobb is in the fantasy community um, and I've heard really fun things about this series, so I'm definitely interested in picking it up. The next one I'm going to mention is Red Rising by Pierce Brown, another one I know I've definitely talked about before. This follows our main character, Darrow, who is a red, so he is like a lesser member of society. And I believe this story takes place on Mars. I always think that, so correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I feel like it takes place on Mars. Anyway, um, so then... Darrow actually discovers that despite being a red, he actually has abilities, and so he is sent to train these abilities, and yeah, the story goes from there. But yeah, this is a very well-beloved series. If you have ever watched one of Piero Ford's videos, you definitely have heard her talk about Red Rising, um, and, and definitely watching her videos has made me very intrigued to pick it up. And yeah, I just, I definitely... Definitely hope I really like this one whenever I get to it. The next one I'm going to mention is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Codename Verity is about the friendship between two women during World War II, and I think one of them um, is a pilot, perhaps? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, again, this is one that I think I bought very highly off of recommendation from Haley over at Haley Bookland. Um, but I really, really enjoy World War II fiction. I really enjoy... Um, different types of World War II stories, um, and so I'm fairly confident I'll really enjoy the series when I get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I love historical fiction, I talk about that all the time. Um, I don't read nearly enough for how much I love the genre, um, and this is definitely one I'm very eager to pick up. And the last one I'm going to mention is Style by Chelsea Cameron. This is another one I definitely picked up over at the recommendation of CC, A Problems of a Book Nerd. Um, this is basically a hate to lovers female-female romance um, about these two main characters who I think are paired up as lab partners and they go from hating each other to loving each other. Um, and I believe the title of the book is their ship name, which is the cutest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. Also, I need to read more female-female romances and this one sounds totally gosh darn cute which is everything I've ever wanted in a female female romance, so. Alrighty guys, so those were the top 10 books off of my Kindle that I really want to read. I can almost guarantee you some of these are going to make an appearance on my top books to read in 2018 list. Um, if you have strong feelings about any of these books in any way, I would love to absolutely know. I would love to hear if you guys have any books that you're already thinking about making on your top 2018 list. I upload videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'll see you guys soon with another one.